It's not hard to step outside and see a beautiful array of flora all around us. But how often do you stop and consider that each and every species has its own distinct name? For Suffield High School student Molly Katzman, a realization about one of those names led to a successful campaign for change. It all started when she began caring for a new plant during her time at the agri-science program here at SHS. As a Jewish student, she found its name, the Wandering Jew, amusing and would often joke about it to her peers. That was until she did some digging on the origins of the title. The background is based in an anti-Semitic story from the 13th century and then got kind of brought back into the light during the Holocaust. After I found out what it was really about, I wrote a speech and then I was asked to give my speech at the Big E, so I did that. Um, we actually got the name changed on in the Connecticut state curriculum, which was great. This is a plant that is used on the Connecticut career development event for floriculture in the state and on the national level. This experience for Molly has shown other FFA members that they need to be able to advocate for change and that Molly is a fantastic example of someone who feels passionate about a need to make change. After getting the name changed on the state level, Molly pushed further, getting in contact with a CDE board member she had spoken to at an event. And she sent it to the national CDE folks, and they were like, well, this sucks. And then two days ago, I finally got an email that just said, thank you so much for your help. Um, we have looked into the issue, so we're hoping to make this change to the plant ID list this spring. And now, today, when you check plant ID lists, Tradescantia zebrine's common name is listed as the Silver Inch plant. For Fox 61 Student News, this has been Vincent Casanguino of Suffield High School.